our second Facebook Live. I'm Alex, founder of Moran Girls, and this is my good friend and assistant for the day, Nat. Hello. It's a really special edition today because we're working with Stand Up to Cancer to show you some amazing tear and share SUTC cupcakes. So Nat has a charity bake sale coming up at work and she just she's a bit of a baking novice and Absolutely. she wanted to come into the bakery and get taught. 100%. So this is the, uh, the, I just wanted to kind of give you a visual reference of what we're doing today. So we've already made the S. So it's beautiful chocolate cupcakes covered in buttercream. And we were going really extra today. We've got some homemade honeycomb that we're going to be showing you, homemade sparkly chocolate jazzies, mm -hmm. and homemade sprinkles. So I'm Matt, and I'm going to be manning the iPad today. So any questions that you have for us, fire them through, as me and Alex will be answering them live. Yeah. We're also running a super cool competition where you guys are in for a chance to win a kitchen mixer. All you have to do to enter is just upload your, a picture of your final bake onto webake.co.uk. It doesn't have to be a stand up to cancer theme like we're doing today. It could be any design, any theme. So get baking, get uploading, because we're super excited to see them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Al, I have this book sale coming up yes. next week. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yes. Please, I need your help. Okay, okay. So it's a really, really simple cupcake recipe. Okay. So let's start with that. Okay, good. So <laughs> you can get mixing. So we've got cool. dry ingredients in front of here. We've got flour. Caster sugar, nice. the Dr. Utka cocoa powder, some bicarb, some gluten-free baking powder, and a little bit of salt. So give, give that a good old mix. Okay. Make sure there's no lumps. That's no it. lumps. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then straight onto the wet. That is looking lovely. Oh, I've tried this already. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so make a little well in the middle, and I'm going to pour in some of the wet ingredients. So okay. we've got milk, delicious smelling coconut oil. Oh my god, I lush. love, I love baking love. with coconut oil. I douse myself in baking coconut oil all the time. <laughs> on your I hair, love it. on my hair, face, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to crack a couple of eggs. Yeah. And then this recipe is quite a loose recipe. We've got some water going in, but it just makes a really nice fudgy texture. So it's quite a wet batter, but that's all good. Lovely. And then just two teaspoons of this going in for me. Is that vanilla? Yeah, as well. So good. Nice. Right, mix it, mix it, mix it, yeah. It, yeah. So hopefully lots of you are baking at home along with us. Um, just remember that you can pause Rewind at any time if, you, uh, if we're going too fast for you. And if you're just watching, getting some inspo, that's all cool too. That is looking and smelling yummy. It looks quite wet, is that? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool, that's cool. Okay. That's looking perfect. It's just going to be really chocolatey and really fudgy. It's a real foolproof chocolate cupcake batter. Okay. I want this now. <laughs> don't, don't dip your fingers. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I've got some questions coming in. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> all right, Matt, go far away. Okay, so this is one for you, Al. Okay. Uh, what inspired you to start Moran Girls? It's a good one. Oh, wow. I mean, it, it, I fell into it, really, is the truth of it all. Oh, I need a few more cupcake cases. Um, but I always wanted to do my own thing start my own business and I was working in kind of professional kitchens before this but always sort of working for someone else so yeah this was my way this is my break of getting my own thing running and it's been it's been a joy nice. yeah okay this is a really good technique Nat so we've got mm -hmm. just like an ice cream scoop here and I want to get you to fill these up about three quarters full okay so just dip it in pour it in I mean it is quite liquidy so just try and aim doesn't matter if there's a few dribbles. Okay. <laughs> They're all going to be covered in delicious buttercream anyway. So okay, that's it's good. all good. So how come you don't bake? Me? <laughs> I mean, come I on. Know. So I used to bake when I was a little girl with my nan. I used to make this gorgeous, like, grapefruit cake. But I don't know what it is. Grapefruit cake sounds good. Yeah, it was really nice. But um, especially as well. Just no time or no, time. no confidence? I think it's more of a confidence thing. Yeah. Like, I always, I think I'm too like critical of myself, so I see like what you make, and I'm like, oh. No, just because you live with like a baker, yeah. don't, don't let it put you off. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you whisking things up at home. You are the best. 
this is super messy, is that okay? No, it's absolutely okay. fine. I mean, I'm not ever precious. <laughs> it's my style of baking. <laughs> Slap it all in. <laughs> so you're doing about three quarters full just so that they're going to rise to the top so that when you are icing into your letters, they're going to be nice and even and we can spell out the S-U-T-C for the bake sale. But obviously, if you, 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 know, you can do any shapes. There's so much inspo online. I've seen amazing things done with tear and share cupcakes. There's like flamingos, numbers. Have you seen anything with like big floral bouquets? Yeah, I have seen like a yeah. floral one. Amazing. Cool. It'd be cool to do like a stand up to cancer arrow as well. Something yeah. Different. Yeah. Okay, so these are going in at 180 for 12 minutes. Um, I'll just wait for Nat to finish up. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> don't rush, don't rush, don't rush, don't rush. <laughs> oh look, there's, there's, there are some questions coming in. Let me have a look. Um, okay. Um, 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 um. Love the idea of making your own sprinkles. Great. I'm really excited about sharing you guys that. It's something that I've never really done before. Um, I've always, you know, thought it was too tricky, but it is a really good technique and just one to have in the bank. Um, what's your favourite baking book? Oh, you got one. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any cookbooks? I do Nat, have cookbooks. Nat's moved into my house recently. And yeah. You haven't actually got any cookbooks? No, I do have one. It's just not in the kitchen. It's in my room. Okay. Okay. I don't bring know why. I'll bring, bring it, it down. down. Bring it down. I'll bring it down. I've got lots anyway. So. Okay. Okay. I um, think this is. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, slightly overfilled, but we'll try and get 24, I'm but that's sorry. absolutely <laughs> fine. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these in the middle tray for 12 minutes, so I'll just beat the timer. Yeah. They smell great, well done. Thanks. Cool, all right, so we are straight on to the honeycomb. Oh, okay, I've never seen honeycomb be made before, so okay. I'm excited about this. Thing. All right, okay, so what we have is golden syrup. Okay. And some caster sugar, some Dr. Urka, bicarb of soda, and I've got my tray here for when we are ready to pour in the molten lovely honeycomb. Do you like honeycomb? Love it. Really? Love it, yeah. I'm so excited. I remember we spoke about this yesterday and you were like, oh, is it not honey? <laughs> Thanks, Al. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, like a mis it's a common misconception, I'm sure. Like. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put in the caster sugar and the golden syrup together into the pan. Okay. And so we are just going to melt this down um, on a kind of medium heat, we don't want it boiling before all the sugar has been dissolved. So we're just going to get that kind of shifting and moving. I don't stir it too much at this point. I like kind of giving it a good old, good old shake so it doesn't stick. But um, so just kind of keep it moving, keep an eye on it. And when all the sugar has melted, we're going to turn up the heat and get those bubbles and get that golden caramel going. And then there's like a magic point where you tip in the bicarb and it all goes nuts. So oh we've got God. that in a few minutes. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're just tuning in, we are doing a Stand Up to Cancer Tear and Share Cupcakes. Um, so welcome. And um, if we're going too fast for you, if you didn't catch anything, yeah. just press pause um, and you'll be able to catch up. Uh, we're also, if you've got any questions for us, we are doing um, a question and answer. Yeah, well, live so. Q&A. Yeah, live Q&A. So fire them through. Wow. So, what's, uh, so what is this charity sale you, you're doing next week? So it's actually a Stand Up to Cancer okay. charity sale from okay. my work. Okay, cool. Um, so Have you done I any kind of charity stuff before? I've done some charity stuff before. I danced for 12 hours. What? Yeah, in my local shopping centre, <laughs> um, which was tiring, but all for a good cause, of course. What kind of dancing? <laughs> so, you know, you know Cameo? Um, that's, it's like candy. That it's one. What? <laughs> you know, candy by Cameo. I actually don't. You don't what? Sorry. Right. So, if there's anyone that listens that does know candy by Cameo, please can you just say that you do and not make me feel embarrassed right now? All right. Okay. <laughs> what, what is it like? What is it? It's like uh, I'm not gonna do it. It's just okay. like a dance. Like okay. A dance. So you did that for 12 hours. 12 hours straight. Wow. Yeah. That is dedication. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. How much did you raise? Uh, 5,000 pounds. Whoa! Yeah, okay, good. definitely worth it. Then. It was good, yeah. Amazing. There's a lot of us that did it as well. Oh, so it's fun. Brilliant. Yeah. 
So this is melting all down quite nicely. I'm just giving it a little bit of a shake. I can just see one big cluster of sugar that I want gone before I turn up the heat. Yeah. Good. So good. I can't wait to see how it happens. I know. It's, it's a miracle of science. It's literally one of my favorite things to make. When you just like, you make a caramel and then you just add the bicarb and it goes nuts. I mean, yeah, I'll show you. I'll yeah, show you the science in a few excited. seconds. Ooh, How yeah. long does it take for it to set and go hard? And About an hour. Okay. Um, yeah, so hopefully it will be done by the time we're decorating this. Um, yeah, and you'll know when it's done when basically you can just lift it from a table, crack, bang, wallop, amazing. Um, and then you can... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You can do it, you can Thanks. do it. Um, and uh, you can store it in the fridge for about three days. I mean, not sorry, not in the fridge. In an air cut container, not in the fridge. Um, just any moisture kind of, it does attract it and goes a bit soggy. So you just want it to be extra, extra crunchy. Okay, so I've turned up the heat. It's on full power and it's going to a lovely, uniform, golden caramel mm, color. Can yeah. you see that? Okay, do Sounds the honors. Nice. You are going to tip in the bicarb <gasps> and, yeah, can I go? Now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when it's in, <laughs> you give it. A really wow. quick stir, get all the bicarb in, let all that bubbles. Oh my gosh. It's going higher, it's going higher. <laughs> and then when you think, you know, it's high enough, you pour it straight into your tin. And that is looking... You don't that now. Uh, that will just blow your head off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> um, you can flavour your honeycomb as well if you're feeling extra special. I um, never knew that. Yeah, you can add, like, I've done it with cardamom and orange, so like some orange there, some cardamom powder, or oh, I've done a lavender and lemon Ooh. one. I know. You can do that next week. So that is molten, molten, but it's amazing. The bicarb basically reacts with the heat of the caramel and releases the carbon dioxide, and then the bubbles go nuts. So that is the, the miracle. Science <laughs> as well. I know. A little science lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just leave this in a cool place um, carefully just to set for a little while. So, is it time for the chocolate jazzies? <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. We've got chocolate jazzies, which I also love. So, we've got a bambari. Um, what is a bambari? <laughs> this simple right. pan, water, glass bowl. And I'm going to put okay. it on a high heat just to get the water boiling. Um, and I've got some dot dark and white chocolate and some lovely glamour and sparkle. Ooh, Very festive. Oh, I love this. Really festive. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do is chop up the white chocolate into yeah. small pieces. Can you do that? Yeah. Small we need. Pieces. We actually need a knife. Let me get you one. Can you like eat this chocolate or is it just for cooking? No, you can eat it, it's delicious, but it's a really good, especially made for bakers. Um, let me get you something to chop on. Thanks. Okay, it's fine, you can just do it on here. Okay. Um, need really baking, so that's fine. Okay, yeah, no, it's really good, it melts really easily. So we're gonna melt it, but we are gonna Temper it. Have you heard of tempering before? Never in my life. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right. I told you I'm really inexperienced. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. So small pieces, and then they're going to melt really quickly and uniformly. Um, and um, we are tempering to create a smooth, shiny chocolate that snaps beautifully when it's set. Um, now, tempering is quite a fancy word, but we don't go the whole hog with a kind of a, a thermometer. We've got a really fail-safe, cheats tempering method where we basically keep everything low. We've got all the, we want to keep all the temperature really, really low. So the way to do this is to melt the chocolate third, uh, two, th sorry, two thirds in the glass bowl. So that's glass conducts less heat than metal. Mm -hmm. So you just want to keep it really, really low. We're okay. going to melt that really, really gently. And then we're going to add the other third off the heat. And that's going to just kind of keep the temperature even lower. So it's melted, but it's melted at the least temperature that we can possibly melt at. Okay. Okay, cool. So two thirds in now. Two thirds in now, please. Okay. Two 
Yeah, it's just by eye, really. Yeah, it's okay. literally, yeah. Maybe that. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Okay, so hopefully that's going to melt down. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm going to set up the place where we're going to pipe our jazzies. Do you, like, do you remember jazzies? Yes. Uh, yeah? From the end, like, the sweet shop. Pick a mix, yeah. Yes, pick a mix. I, think I love just jazzies. You can get like milk chocolate one, dark chocolate dark ones, chocolate one. and that's yeah. And you can do the same at home. You know, you can do any chocolate you like. You can even do vegan chocolate, and you can add any sprinkles you like. So we've got the glamour and sparkles. So I'm going to basically show you how it's done, and this is really fun. So I've got a silicon baking mat, and I'm just going to pour over the sprinkles in a thin, even layer. And the essence of what we're doing here is we're going to melt the chocolate, put it in a piping bag, and pipe directly onto the sprinkles. Then when it's set, we're going to peel them off, and one side is going to be beautiful and sparkly sprinkly. And the, yeah, and they're just going to be perfect for decorating. How's that coming along? Still slowly, but slowly, surely. But surely. Okay, fine. Slowly, That's okay. Surely. These sparkles are so pretty. I know. Too pretty to eat. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to set up my piping bag. Okay, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Oh, is it going yeah. spitting? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, you could just um, use this, this now to go up or down, just like keep, keep the control. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you think I've never worked, been in the kitchen before? <laughs> oh, it's high pressure. It is. It oh, is. You're doing so well. Thanks, Al. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's nearly melted. Yeah. And so we can uh, get those final lumps out. Yeah. Yep. So you're doing anything for Halloween? That's the next big thing coming oh, up. Oh, I know. Um, I'm not too sure. I really want to go all out this year, though. Like, yeah. it's my first Halloween in London. Yeah. So I want to check out a good party or just, I don't know, just I want to go all out. Yeah. 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 What are you doing? Oh, you know. Or what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely <laughs> trick or treating with the trick bubbers. Trick or treating with the bubbers. Yeah. That has to be done. Okay, this is done um, now. Oh, 45 seconds on our cupcakes. So you bring them out when we are ready now. Okay. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to take this off the heat and then add in our white chocolate. And so that's just going to bring the temperature right down and keep all of our chocolate in temper so that when we pipe them, they're going to set really crispy and beautifully. Cool. Nice. Right, you can get rid of that now. Okay. This might be hot. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So there should be like a little bit of lumping. You know, we are stirring now because we are like urging it to melt we're like go on melt at that really low temperature you can do it and it is so just give me a final go Ooh. cupcakes cupcake time okay how are they looking so good so nice yeah okay, perfect grab those out yeah a bit under actually a little bit under yeah a couple more minutes okay. i need you here <laughs> No, you can tell when they're done. You could tell that they're a bit under, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> sure. Yeah. No, you could. They were like just a little bit too wobbly, and I just think in the middle that would have been um, a bit of an issue. Yeah, cool. Have a look at the iPad. Okay. Um, oh, this is a good one. What is your favourite cake, Alex? Um, blah, 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 blah. Anything like really zesty. So like a lemon drizzle or just anything with loads and loads of like fruit in it. I'm not up for like the, the dense cakes. I just like a light and zesty. Yeah, nice. What do you like? Nice. I am, I love like chocolate brownies and I love like oat cookies. I know it's not a cake, but it's like a... You know. Pretty healthy too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the brownies aren't so healthy. Right, actually, can I get you to hold this for me? Yeah, sure. It's a bit of a two-girl job. So just hold the piping bag and I'm going to pour the chocolate inside. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> okay, have you ever nice. piped before? No. Okay. I've always wanted to. Okay. I've seen it. You're going to get your go now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I've put it in a piping bag. I'm going to tie the top knot. Okay. And um, that's just going to stop any spillages okay. and accidents. Yeah, and sense. I'm just going to cut off this little piece so that we just aren't going to get it in the way. Okay. 
Got our glamorous bark hole. Yes. Love. I'm going to cut a really small hole. Just the, the smaller, the more control you're going to have off okay. the tip. Yeah. Um, but cut it enough for it to come out. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to pinch it here before I get down. Yeah. And then I'm just going to do little dollops. So one, two, three. And I'm, I'm pinching it after each go so that it's not going absolutely everywhere. Cool. And how long will it take for these like to set and be edible? Um, well, they'll set really quickly in the fridge, um, or if you leave them out um, in a cool place, they'll take about an hour. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, do you want to have a go? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so pinch down at the bottom. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. I mean, any shape that comes out is going to be going to be beautiful. So don't worry too much. Thank you. Cool. Look at me, I'm Jasmine. Jasmine. <laughs> Looking great. Okay, I'm going to check these um, cupcakes again because I reckon those couple extra minutes will have done the job. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they smell so good. They do. Ooh. It's hot in here though. Wow. Yeah, they look lovely. Okay, I'm going to put them over here to cool down. So can you cook savoury food now? Yes, I can cook savoury food. I'm like, yeah, I like. Yeah. I, I love cooking. Yeah. I guess I've always been more of a savoury tooth, so I've never really been more like like into like the baking thing. Yeah, yeah. But I think obviously living with you and like being down the bakery a lot more, it's kind of inspired me. Good. Because um, for bake sales, I always would feel I don't know, I just would do something like I don't know, like a package that you can get from like the local shop. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, not yeah. The same as when it's baked by yourself. So homemade yeah, is excited. always best. These things are perfect. Are they? You got a job. Thanks. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go. I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna put them somewhere to set. You ask a couple more questions. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, do you run any baking classes? <laughs> Well, yes, I do. <laughs> now we've got, you know, we've got um, a, week, a fortnightly one here where we do meringue making. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. better come along to that. I absolutely will. You can have a free ticket. <laughs> Housemate benefits. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, what's the craziest job you've ever done with meringue girls? Oh, wow. I mean, we've been going for like six years now, so we've had a lot of, a lot go on. Yeah. I mean, we've done weddings all over the world. We've done an edible hotel. Yeah, wow. you have to Google that one. We did, um, oh God, we've done so many things. Um, some really weird and wonderful flavorings. Um, oh. Some celebs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. And guys, if you're just joining us now, welcome. We are doing, well, Alex is teaching me how to do some tear and share cupcakes. Uh, we are doing it for a really good cause, which is for Stand Up To Cancer. And um, so if you, we're going too quick or, or you know if you didn't catch anything just rewind and you'll be able to catch up if you've got any questions for us we are doing a live q a so yeah. just pop them in the comments box um, and yeah send them some questions yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. it's a really good one so thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay cool so straight on to the homemade sprinkles obviously in the recipe we've got the bright and bold dot duck ones but we just wanted to show you extra extra techniques i mean it's just good things to know so i've got royal icing sugar uh, mixed with water here and you're making a kind of gluey paste consistency um, what is sorry what's royal icing royal icing sugar is icing sugar with egg white in it oh, so the egg white okay. basically allows it to set um, at room temperature so it's the thing that people use to bake onto like decorative ice cookies okay and we're actually using it again for Halloween to make some really cool googly eyes oh, so yeah cool. okay, that's actually cool. our next video for um, for, the, for these lives is a lovely Halloween one with a monstery googly eye That'd theme yeah okay so I want you to add in some of the extra strong food gel we've got yeah. obviously orange because it's how much am I putting in like a just to eye, so a bit less, okay, oh. it's going to be really orange, <laughs> yeah. right? these are really, really vibrant, um, but they are really easy to use um, and just get the right consistency by eye, now that is actually looking really lovely, a uh, bit more, yeah. sorry, <laughs> I was wrong, <laughs> oh yeah, lovely, okay, again, into the bag, okay, I can't believe Christmas is coming around I know, already. It's come around so quick. I can't. 
Seriously. I need to get Halloween out of the way first. <laughs> and then firework night, and then I'm going to think about Christmas. <laughs> no, no, I'm already planning my, Christ already my Christmas <laughs> meal. Yeah, <laughs> Food, food, food. <laughs> and I'm, I'm cooking it this year, so... How are you? It's the pressure. Oh, my gosh. Rather you than me. <laughs> OK, cool. So what we're going to do here, to get even more piping practice, is cut another little hole. OK. Um, and we're going to pipe... Um, horizontal lines along the baking sheet. I've actually never seen how sprinkles are made before. Yeah, really it's cool. It's like some of the things, I eat them all the time, but never thought. Okay, so these, ooh, these are like, oh, this is not coming out enough. Um, this is a lovely pastel colour. Yeah. Um, but you can do kind of like an ombre, you can keep oh, wow. adding the colour, just get the desired consistency. Cool. So these um, are long lines, and when they set, they're going to crunch up, and I'm going to show you in a minute how you're going to make lovely kind of strands and shards. Okay. But um, you can make dots, you can make any sprinkles you like. Do you want to have a go at the yes, piping? Yes, you want to have a go, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Wendy on Instagram asked, um, ideas for homemade secret Santa gifts, the easier the better. Ooh, I mean, the homemade secret Santa gifts is a lovely idea. Um, we've got loads of Christmassy ideas in the pipeline. Um, we're going to be making a lot of sort of edible Christmas decorations for oh our trees. Oh my God, that's such a good idea. Um, <laughs> we found this really cool new nozzle um, called a sultane nozzle, and it basically pipes out a meringue as a kind of wreath and then we're going to thread them with lovely string and then you could package that in a bag and give it to someone to put on their tree. So oh, nice. That's a good idea. Um, Am I doing this right, Al? Sorry. Yeah, you right. are, babe. Yeah. Okay. Just get the pressure and go straight up. <laughs> yeah. Someone said, uh, Lindsay asked, are you ladies going to be at the NEC Cake International show in November? We I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll come just as a hunter, but we're not there. <laughs> love anything to do with cake. Okay, so here's some of the sprinkles that we made earlier. They set overnight, so I just wanted to show you what you're looking for. And these keep really, really well in an airtight container, um, so I'd say for up to a month. So you've obviously got your lovely horizontal lines, and then it's the fun bit now. Okay. Have a look. Yeah. You just scrunch, and it just <gasps> makes lovely little shards. Oh my gosh. And I mean, for a secret Santa as a baking gift, wouldn't this be a really nice idea? Put these in like a kiln in a jar and have some homemade sprinkles. Oh my god, such a good idea. <laughs> Very wow. cheap to do. So yeah. If you're enough and of thoughtful as well. Yeah. I'm really happy if someone got me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think I've. I mean, they're not as good as yours, but they're absolutely good. <laughs> they're absolutely good. <laughs> Because it all gets crunched up. Yeah, I guess if that's blobs, what I was thinking. Yeah, if so there's blobs or fat bits, it really doesn't matter because you okay. can just break them all up into these beautiful, beautiful sprinkles. Aren't they? They look so pretty, so autumn. Total stand up to cancer colours. Great. Yeah. Lovely. Well, we'll use that on our finished bake at the end. Okay. Okay. Is honeycomb like caramel sauce? Yes, it basically is a caramel sauce. You're adding the bicarb of soda to give the carbon dioxide bubbles, which just creates all that aerated texture. So, yeah, it's just like a caramel sauce, just with a bit more body. Um, oh, Sandra's asked, can you do the candy dance for us? I can't believe you're doing this. <laughs> That's all you're getting, Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, you sass pop. Okay. <laughs> okay, Caroline asked, the batter was a little runny. How come it was like that? Yes, Caroline, it is a really runny batter, but I think it just makes a fudgier texture. We've got the coconut oil, the milk, and the water, so there's a lot of liquid going in there. But it's just a really good cupcake recipe. So just trust, trust me, trust me, trust me. <laughs> it will be fine. <laughs> How do you keep your, um, your baking environment eco-friendly? So yes, we are doing all we, ca all we can at the bakery to reduce our kind of single-use plastic and paper consumption. So yeah, we've got silicon baking mats. Our piping bags are biodegradable. So yeah, we're trying all we can. So yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Pushing towards that. Yeah, especially at home, wasn't it? We were very like, we refill our washing liquids. Yeah. Not to like waste any plastic. <laughs> 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 
Um, okay. Um, ugh, so many questions. Sorry. Um, Natalie on Facebook said, I love baking at Christmas time. I did a brownie Christmas trees last year. That's a great idea. But I'm looking for a new, fun, and easy one this time. Any ideas, please? Mm, there's just so many things. So we've got a Christmas edition of our lives as well as the Halloween one where we're going to be making a lovely chai spiced Christmas cake with some marzipan green Christmas trees and some white chocolate kind of winter wonderland shards, lots of sprinkles. So check out that, Natalie. Hopefully that'll give you some inspo. Yeah? That's good. Yeah. Cool. All right. So where are we at? We're in the buttercream? We are. Okay. Okay. So butter into the mixer now. Do you know how to lift up this KitchenAid? So it's just from the side and just the side. pull it up. Perfect. Okay. okay, and add all the butter in. I'm going to get you a fresh paddle. Thanks. You get all of it in. All of it in. So this is nice and room temperature. So you'd have no luck if this was straight from the fridge when you're doing it now. So okay. get it all in and we're going to beat it with the paddle attachment until it's light and fluffy. Okay. Lovely, fluffy, easy buttercream. Lovely. And then we're going to divide the buttercream into three different colours using the Dr. Utka strong gels. Um, and then top all our cupcakes so that they are totally on Stand Up To Cancer brand. Okay. Do you want to just grab the icing sugar, my love? Yeah. And the tea towel is necessary okay. so that we're not going to create an absolute pandemonium okay. of icing in here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just beat this until it's really fluffy. Gorgeous. Okay. okay. So we're going to add it in kind of two additions. So I'll get you a spoon. Okay. Um, and just get half of it in and then start it on a really slow setting with the tea towel over it. Don't worry, this bit is going to get messy. Okay. So let's just, <laughs> let's embrace it. So half of the sugar in? Yeah, just roughly. We're just trying okay. to yeah, get some in there. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Daisy asks, is it healthier with coconut oil, coconut oil, milk and water versus butter? I'm not actually quite sure on the nutritionals, but I just love the taste of coconut oil. I don't I just think it is. I think coconut oil is known, isn't it? Like people, like, you know, people in their, their fitness, they cook with coconut oil, so. And it just gives you that lovely flavour Alternative, well. yeah. You eat mainly kind of vegan, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. I try my best to. <laughs> <laughs> Can't resist the pizza, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta try. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I've got this on because... Okay, so that's to stop it from going everywhere. A pillow. It's a good idea. Yeah. So if I was at home by myself, I would just put everything in and... My, like my, a flower yeah, bomb. The kids gone off in my kitchen. And I'd get home and I'd be like, oh no. Yeah, yeah, you Nah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, how are we? Okay, cool. And then let's get the rest of it in. Okay. Yeah, you can just yeah. do that. Yeah, cool. Okay, Joanna on Facebook asked, I just finished 24 cupcakes for a birthday, 12 after 8 and 12 vanilla with milk bottle Haribo sweets. Wow. Wow. They were fab, great. but how do you prevent your piping nozzles from popping out the bottom of your icing bags and stopping them from splitting? Had a buttercream explosion at one point. Oh, that's so tricky. I mean, we use, the, we use really good quality, um, big, um, big baking piping bags. And also um, use like stainless steel nozzles. Sometimes when it's this, like the plastic ones, I get a lot of slippery, and I've had that lots of times where it just goes. <laughs> but yeah, cool. How's that coming? Yeah, fine. How do you feel? Are you in control? I think I am. Yeah. <laughs> how like how fast does it need to be? Like fast, slow? Definitely slow as you're adding. Yeah. Definitely slow as you're adding. And then um, when it's all incorporated, we can, we okay, can let's, go let's a bit braver. Okay, let's turn this up a bit then. Can you, is it all in? <laughs> yeah, it's all in. Okay, cool. We can take the tea towel off. Okay. And then you can turn it up a bit. Okay, cool. So our cupcakes are baked. We've made our jazzies. We've made our sprinkles. We have made our honeycomb. And we are making our buttercream, and now we are going to divide the buttercream up into three different colours 
and then assemble our SUTC hair and share cupcakes to stand up to cancer. Cool? Remember, if we are going too fast, or if you're just joining a little bit late, you can rewind or pause at any time. That's looking great. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's just get it one final go. And if it is looking a bit thicker, you can add a little bit of milk, but we're okay, I think. Okay, so we're going to divide this into three bowls. Okay. Just take this off. Get every little bit off. <laughs> so what are you doing at the weekend? Me? And... <laughs> have a friend's birthday dinner tonight. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then tomorrow, I don't know if the weather's still as nice as it is, I'm yeah. going to go for a walk, enjoy this hot October that we're getting. No, it's absolutely amazing. More questions coming in. Um, okay, three bowls. Carlo has asked, can you replace golden syrup with honey? I've never tried it, but I'm guessing you can. Uh, it would be quite pricey, mm. but... Um, I'm guessing you can because, you know, honey is just a lovely a sugar syrup as well. Really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see who else. I'm making this. So if you are baking along at home, remember, we want to see your pictures. We will be checking afterwards. So even if you're not doing the Stand Up to Cancer um, actual layout, if you're doing just any cupcakes, any tear and share ideas, we really want to see them. And then you will be in the chance to win your very own KitchenAid mixer. Um, yeah, so the, that would be great. Someone's asked, um, how can I host, host sorry, my own Stand Up to Cancer bake sale? Um, I think if you go online, uh, there should be instructions on the Stand Up to Cancer website where you can get involved. I think um, you can download a pack, yeah. Oh, you can download a pack. Um, so you can get like you know your child's school involved, my work's involved. Um, so yeah, I know there's loads of information on the website if you just go in. There's loads of different ideas that you can do to raise money. So it's a really good cause. So I think if yeah. you can get involved, everyone definitely should I think try it's their best. One to. close to everyone's hearts, really. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So now we're dyeing the buttercream. We are. Okay. Okay, you go with the extra strong yellow. Yellow. Right. I'll go with the red. Just an eyeball again? Or, or how much? We are trying to make quite a strong colour now. So we're trying to really match those Stand Up to Cancer brown colours. So okay. I'm going to add quite a bit. Especially with the red. Um, because you're using a white buttercream, it's going to go a little bit pinker. So we need to add a bit more. Okay. Great. Lovely. How's your yellow? Uh, I think I need a bit more. What do you, you need? Reckon? And you need some elbow grease. Let's get in there. Yeah, okay. Let's get in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to keep the bowl still. I don't know how you're, like, you're doing it. You're just like, la 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 la. Oh, you just got twist and, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Like a workout. You definitely <laughs> develop like baking muscles. The girls in the bakery who are piping the meringue kisses every day literally have like third unknown muscle that's not, you know, <laughs> not known to man. <laughs> oh. Looking lovely. And now for the orange. Extra, extra strong. Where are you going to think? God, more elbow grease. I mean, I like it. It's, it's more pastel but you can... It's really up to you. Where are you going to be for Christmas? Me, so, me and my lovely mum. If you're watching, hi. <laughs> we are going um, just at, back at home. So I'll go back to where I'm from, which is in Hempstead. And, yeah, we're just going to chill, eat dinner, drink wine. Beautiful. Watch all the bad but wonderful TV that's yeah. on. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that's usually the plan. That's the plan. What okay. about you? What are you doing with the kids this year? Yeah, so fully, fully fledged adult oh, yeah, now. You're cooking. I'm hosting yeah. Christmas, which seems really <laughs> fully crazy. Fully fledged adult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nuts. I'm always used to be like catered for, you know. But um, we're not going to go traditional. We're going to go Asian. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm not oh, quite. Not. I don't really like turkey. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I'm bringing on all of our serving platters now because we are getting kind of in the fun assembly mode. Hey. Okay, cool. So Which I've means got it's nearly time to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. yeah, you're right. So let me just bring over my S. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Okay, and I line it up just so I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are filling up three more piping bags. We've done this now. You're a pro. Yeah. Yeah, let's just fill them up as quick as we can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're leaving my own for one minute. I can't even open up the Give it, bag. Give it a rub. <laughs> <laughs> just like a, like a carrier bag. <laughs> no, you're um, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, you're right. I think it's because we're all buttery. <laughs> Greasing everywhere. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> well, it's hot in there. Okay. All right. Okay. Assembly line again. Should yeah. We get orange. Yeah. Okay. Pop that in. So, am I going to have to help you if your bake cell, or do you reckon you're going to have it now? You. Oh. <laughs> I need you like shadowing me. I'll be home. Yeah, but yeah, I, can you just be I home? I won't be in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> Please be home. I'll hide upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I kind of get the gist. Yeah. Seems pretty straightforward actually. Totally. Just a little bit planning. But yeah. Yeah. All good. So then tie this up at the top, right? Where? Sh no, we don't no. need to for that one. Okay. Just give it a twist and push all the stuff down. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, onto the red. Okay. I can't wait for Halloween. I, th yeah. I get more inspired by Halloween than... Yeah, you love Halloween, I don't, don't you? You yeah. do love it. Yeah. I've already got, like, the kids' fancy dress. Yeah. Are We're, you going to dress already... up this year? I mean, no. To be fair, that's a bit too far for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dress them up. I go trick or treat with them. And I buy a lot of sweets. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone absolutely mad in our area. People love it. So. Yeah, I remember you saying, so where I'm from, unfortunately, like Halloween's kind of died out. Oh. Which is really sad, because yeah. I used to love it as a kid. It's making a so I'm happy to be here. It's, like it's Halloween, making a revival. Yeah. Right, I need one more piping bag. Everyone's just tuned in. Welcome. We are doing some tear and share cupcakes for Stand Up to Cancer. Um, if we're going too quick or if you didn't catch anything, you can literally just rewind or pause. Um, and we are doing a live question and answer. Yeah. So if you have any questions for us, please send them through. Um, there's some really good ones coming in. So. Okay, let's have a look. Where can I get the edible flowers for this recipe? So we are using some beautiful edible flowers and I've chosen some sort of orangey, yellowy, red ones to match the theme. Um, and you can, there's loads of websites now where you can kind of pick and choose, especially if they're in season, the kind of colourways you're looking for. And we've also seen them more and more in the big supermarkets in the salad section. So they're pretty easy to get nowadays. Um, they smell like real flowers. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are real flowers. But they're edible. Yeah, they're edible. Wow. Wow. Thanks um, so much today. What's the first thing you have you what's the first thing you ever baked? So you made the grapefruit, mm -hmm. was it cake? Yeah. And some stand up to cancer. No. <laughs> come on. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like I've done like some stuff from you know, you can get like the Tesco's pack, but it's never yeah. the same as when it's like freshly baked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's well, a bit personal, don't be rude. What's it like living with Marango? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Do you get treats it's all so the time? Good. Get treats all the time. There's always something different that she's whipping up and Mm -hmm. it, I love coming home from work and like I'll open up the, the fridge and they'll just be like, a, I don't know, like, <laughs> what, did, what did you make the other day? Like these like dark chocolate finger things. Oh yeah. No, oh, I mean, I do, so all my, I do all my like recipe testing at home. Oh, okay. So Keep try, doing trying that. to do a lot more vegan <laughs> stuff. <laughs> vegan stuff now. Yeah. So those were like a vegan <laughs> date and nut. And you made some really orange. yummy uh, coconut cupcakes the other week. That was indie, yeah. Was that indie? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Sweetheart. Okay. So, we are going to line up our S-U-T-C. Okay. Oh, got one. <laughs> Didn't need it. <laughs> okay. Always good to bake a few extra. <laughs> Dog gets them. So you're doing the U. Shall I do the T? Yes. 
These are lovely and fudgy. They are. Oh, nice. Can you pass me a try? Yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I think this is just going to be so impressive at the bake sale. It's just like, you know, on brand, really made the effort, yeah. but also really good for like a kind of group to, yeah, to, to exactly. share. It's fun, it's different, isn't it? Exactly. It's different. And, yeah, as you know, kind of letter cakes are very in at the moment. So this is just a yeah. really simple way of doing it. Wonderful. Okay, so what colour are we going to go? So this is where we go. So we're going to go orange, yellow, red? Sounds good. Okay. Can you pass me the orange bag? Yeah. Thank you. Amazing. So keeping it all tight and pushed down and giving the top a bit of a twist. You can, mm -hmm. you can do a knot, but I don't think we need it so much. Like the, the chocolate was so liquidy, it could have yeah. kind of squirted out the top. Okay. So I'm going to cut um, a kind of five pea size hole. Yeah. Um, and you were going free, freehand here to create the outline of the letters. So I'm going to follow... The U, all the way around. Oop. Don't worry if you have little breaks, you can really can touch it up and we're going to be covering with loads of amazing toppings that you've made, like honeycomb and fresh fruits. Okay, so that's nice. the U, okay. and then you kind of shade in the middle. So I'm just going to go like this. And then I'm going to get you, Nat, to do the T. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So the T it would be yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So cut. Like a 5P? Yeah, yeah. Like five, 5P. Okay. That's it. Looks like a 5P. <laughs> <laughs> so just kind of visualise it. It's a bit of an art attack. It's like visualising it from above. Okay. Following the outline, that's it. So hold the piping bag um, with a little, little bit more pressure. Okay. So keeping it taut at the top. Yeah. And squeezing with that top hand and, and kind of guiding with your right hand. If you start pushing from the middle, you're not going to get enough pressure and you're not going to get like a long line. Okay. Give it, give it a shot. Okay, cool. Are Thank you right-handed? Yeah. I yeah. am right. Cool. Yeah. Give that a go. And then I'm going to get on with the red. Oh my god. It's all right, babe. <laughs> You're a novice, and that's absolutely fine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I might have to come downstairs. For I think the, for you this will. Bit. I think you will. Oh, no, that's that one piece. was easy. That's that one was a good one. Oh, no. You know what? You know, if you are struggling with piping or it's just, you know, you're doing it with kids, you can literally just spoon it on with a spoon and use a palette knife to give it a right old smudge. You know, these are kind of smudgy cupcakes. Okay. okay. So you... I'll try. Yeah, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep giving it a go. All right. Um, you come round and I'm okay. going to give it a see. Okay. See? I go wrong. Okay. Amazing. I think I'm getting the hang of it. So if you're just joining us, we are in the assembly bit, which is obviously the funnest bit, um, of our tear and share stand up to cancer cupcakes. So we are icing our chocolate cupcakes and then we're going to be decorating with the honeycomb, chocolate jazzies, and I've even got some meringue kisses in there for some orange Whoa. extra pizzazz. Lovely. I love how you're like nearly done your C. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the T. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check for... Oh, Nat, can you see yourself being a meringue girl now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. You 100%. It's quite therapeutic, actually, yeah. baking. Yeah. Yeah, I quite, I quite like it. Uh, yeah. What kind of food colouring are you using to colour the frosting? So this is the Dr. Utka um, high... Um, I'll show you it again. It's these ones. It's the extra strong gels, which are really, really good for adding colour because, you know, they're squeezy, they're easy, they're vibrant. Okay, I, Sandra asked, I recently made a chocolate and Merlot cupcake. Ooh, Ooh yummy. Nice. 
Um, but the icing was too runny. Should I have just kept on adding more icing sugar? Yes, that is pretty much it. Yeah, there needs to be a really good balance of icing sugar to butter to give it that stability. So just keep adding lots of sugar. Buttercream, what can you do? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. There's so many questions. All right, I'm going to start smudging. Okay, smudging. <laughs> So you're just, I'm just using a kind of angled mini palette knife and just following the line of the letter. Again, not being too precious, um, but giving each cupcake enough buttercream to be delicious when you grab one and buy it for your bake sale. Lovely. I'm just going to wipe that from my paper. You see, it really, <laughs> d really doesn't matter now. No, it doesn't actually. Yeah. Does it? No. Yeah. I think I'm going to be very popular at work next week. <laughs> I mean, what is everyone else going to do? You know, know, this is definitely going to trumpet. It is. <laughs> it's a real showstopper. It it's, is. it's a real centerpiece. <laughs> it's not going to get unnoticed in the Absolutely lobby. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Any more cues? Nice. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so uh, Sean has said, if I don't have a spatula, yeah. what can I use to smooth icing onto cupcakes? I mean, a knife that's not serrated, just a butter knife. You know, you really can, you know, a spatula, anything that you've got at home, really, that's just smooth. Um, it's it's going to make it easy. Okay, we're going to get decorating. I love this bit. So I've got some meringue kisses. Okay. And some dehydrated orange pieces, which I've just cut up thinly and put um, in the oven overnight um, at a really low temperature, and they last for ages. Um, and I've got, we, we dehydrate loads of fruit at the bakery, so this is dehydrated pineapple wafers. Oh. Have a try. Mm. Oh, good, isn't it? Because that's just like yeah. fresh, healthy, and zingy, mm -hmm. and just like, you know, really stands out when you're decorating. And they're really nice. Yeah? Mm hmm Okay, do you want to carry on with yeah. um, kind of similar design for the S to the C? Yeah. But, again, go wild. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got our chocolate jazzies. I'm just kind of doing some sort of accent-y pieces, but you can really go wild. This honeycomb looks amazing. It does, doesn't nice it? Nice snap. Oh, yeah, I did say I was going to snap that one. No. Let's, see if, <laughs> let's see if it's... Okay, get some flowers. Oh, it's not quite set. I'll have to do it later. Oh, yeah, flowers. Edible flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So if you're just joining us, we are at the final stage. We are decorating our Stand Up To Cancer Tear and Share cupcakes, which are amazing. Ooh, forgot these. Oh, yes. So, do you think, has it been inspiring? Absolutely, thank you. Feel a bit more confident? I know, I actually am really grateful, thank you. It's <laughs> nice to actually have a bit of an idea of how to just bake something, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, um, and I think this is going to be... And the perfect teacher, obviously. Oh, thanks. Very lucky to get taught <laughs> by Morango. No, <laughs> no you give me too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's deserved. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think they look amazing, but... Mm. Can I see a bit? Huh? Your sea's gorgeous. <laughs> I think my yellow needs a bit more, but I can just keep adding. Um, and then some of our sprinkles. Yay. Okay, so I've just mixed them all because I just think that looks amazing. Yeah, it and does. let's just sprinkle little kind of um, little mounds. And so that everyone has a little bit of sprinkly love Sprinkle on their cupcake. Love. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I, I have only recently started making homemade sprinkles. Oh, really? Yeah, I really like it, though. <laughs> it's a great idea. Yeah. And so simple as well, saving a bit of money. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Shall we turn to camera? Yes. Okay. We're done, guys. We are done. Now, 
Let's get this right so that you can see it. <laughs> S U T. Okay, there we have it. Stand up. Stand up to cancer. cancer. Tear. Shirtcakes. Thank you, Al. No, I absolutely. I think. I hope you enjoy it. My work it. friends are gonna like me and a lot. And hopefully, you're going to raise lots of dollars. Absolutely, raise lots of money. So, yeah. thank you. Um, I Pleasure. appreciate it. You've um, been a great teacher. Thank you. <laughs> and remember to join us again on our third live, Dr. Utka Facebook, which is on the 29th, which we're going to be doing a very special Halloween ghoul gang monster mash cake. See you there. And also, guys, remember um, to enter your pictures for your final bake onto webake.co.uk um, for your chance to win a kitchen mixer. Um, Beth, thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to have one of these. Yeah, okay. Thank Ooh. God it's that time. Yum. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>